belong to Hockey Town. It's a place where dreams are found. We fought so many battles here. Now we're the ones that they will fear. The club resides within our town. We won't stop no letting down. The club is ours for all to dream. It's our town. Let's have this ring. Back to another uh, episode of Main Street Prowlers. Today we have uh, Billy back on with us, and then um, we have uh, another guest, uh, Colton Maynard, on with us today. Um, thank you guys for coming on. Thank you for having us. Um, I do have to say congrats to you, Colton, for your first goal of your pro career. Thank you. Um, milestone. Yeah, de- definitely. It's a uh, any way that you can get it too. It's um, it, definitely beauty too. So. Even even better. So, <laughs> um, well, let's just get this started off. Um, How do you want to start this, Chris? Do you want to start with the uh, TMZ article that came out about? No, um, I, I, I'm going to avoid that until after the next commercial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I I do want to start off actually. Um, no, I'm just going to eat my slim jim. <laughs> well, before we progress it, so uh, talk about that. Um, please come down. Um, today actually, kids do eat free, so and you can get a dollar off for the uh, Port Huron RV camper show that's happening this weekend at the Blue Water Convention Center. Yeah. Um, also, another side note too. Today is um, the primaries. Please, you have about another hour and a half to go. Please go to your polling location and vote. It is very important for you to go today. It, it does if you're in line by eight, you'll get the chance to vote. Right. Um, with with all that done, though, um, how's that Slim Jim? <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, you said you wanted food on the show, so. Yeah, well, uh, I didn't think you'd take it too seriously. <laughs> yes, Elizabeth, my uh, reverend sister. Uh, there's, a, there, there's a TMZ article about the uh, bench clearing brawl that happened between uh, the Columbus River Dragons and the Carolina Thunderbirds. Um, and again, I say I want to avoid that until the next commercial break. <laughs> um, let, let's get to the serious part. Um, if you have any questions for these two, please chime in right now. Um, but um, let, let's go to you, Billy. What's your favorite food from Big Boy? The salad bar mm. and the breakfast bar. <laughs> hey, the oh, and the chili cheese fries because I'm getting some. Yeah, the onion rings because he's also getting those. No. <laughs> I'm just eating, I'm just eating the chili cheese fries tonight. Yeah. Oh, and the chicken fingers are good. And, um, so basically everything. Uh, we all, we all it's good food. Like food. Yeah, it is some good food. Um, hey, Billy, Jeffrey, Sonos, or, Billy. Hi, John. Or Chris, do you want to talk about the... Uh... <laughs> hey, sorry, I got distracted by my sister again. She's texting me. <laughs> um, or do you want to start with the uh, special guests that we're going to have Sunday? Um, well, the prowlers are going to have something. Yeah, um, that's actually a quite of an interesting 
um, player that's going to be added for Sunday afternoon's game. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll be playing with um, Casey Harris, yeah. who was a big enforcer back in the, like the Beacons and the broadcast day. Wasn't very good as an enforcer, but yeah. Right. <laughs> Mr. Casey, you hear that? You better w- listen, Mr. Casey. Let me tell you. That's not nice. <laughs> So, hey, Casey, that's not all of our our opinion. That's just Mike's opinion there. No, it's not just mine. (laughs) Just throw him on the bus right now. (laughs) It's everybody's opinion. What's not? Um, I saw they were eat. (laughs) Very good. (laughs) And and all seriousness, though, guys. Well, um, you are a reverend, so get over it, Elizabeth. (laughs) I'm. We're barely two minutes into the episode, and I just got it out of my head, guys. So she texted me, TMZ article? I was like, and then I answered her. She's like, thanks, I need to Google it. Don't reverence sister again. <laughs> she's a reverend, so... <laughs> well, she's at least a pastor in the United Methodist Church. I am sorry, guys. We're, we're having a little sibling rivalry. Um, uh, Scott, are you glad to even get first back? Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm very happy. Yes, now he just has to be on the show, and maybe maybe when he, come, when he promises to be on the show, he won't duck us and go to the SPHL again. <laughs> you hear that, David? <laughs> um, by all seriousness, now, um, how does it feel to play with a courtyard legend like Casey Harris? He's been practicing since I got here with us, and every day is kind of funny. He brings a very interesting aspect to the locker room. He's... Uh, it's amazing to skate with a lot of the players. Hey, you are here. Oh, so. How's he going to deal with all your music? That's what's going to... The music? Yeah. The music. Because you guys listen... Well, we every time I walk past, you guys are listening to this, like, jamming, like, techno session, and then, like, the big R&B rap. <laughs> it depends on the mood, I guess, right? I don't know how he'd be with music. I don't think he's going to really mind the music. And if he does, he can put on headphones. Like, the other half of the people... <laughs> I, I, I guess that's true. Here. <laughs> but, um, and, so I, I guess he has to get back fun. in shape, right? Uh, so, mm. <laughs> we'll see. I think he'll be fine. Oh, Casey's actually on right now. Is he really? I think he'll be on. I think he'll be Wrong fine. Casey, though. Oh, oh okay. Because his last name is Harris. Oh, no. <laughs> um, Casey, Casey, we'll get to that um, fight later. Um, because we want to um, mainly... Um, well, we, we kind of have to because it affects this weekend. Cause Next it, commercial break we'll be talking you know, about. Yeah. Half their team's going to be suspended along with their coach. But Nick Wright's still a cement head, so... <laughs> Might as well just talk about it now, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Since um, that's... Uh, unavoidable know, with this one over here. I don't know if you saw it. Or, oh, I saw it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody <laughs> saw it by now. So, uh, I, before anybody else comments, what are your thoughts on that fight? Nick Wright's an idiot, and Andre. Before anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking to me. Um, it was chaotic. It was a right. cluster. I don't really have much to say. It's kind of I mean, you never know what's gonna happen in a hockey game. Yeah, some people freak out. Including coaches, and it this gets is, out of hand. He's a Carolina fan. Mm. Game yeah. slips out of your hands sometimes, and it gets a little carried away. It's part of hockey, though. You're going to get fights, you're going to get bench brawls. It happens. Have you ever been in a bench brawl? Yeah, in like oh, no younger when I was 16, I think. We had a bench clearing brawl. Oh, he's yeah. the and the other one's from. <laughs> um, so. Casey versus Scott. Go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, Tim Hunter says, "What's up?" Not much. <laughs> no, talking, um, talking about the uh, brawl that happened in the FHL that made that made the league famous for the wrong reasons again. <laughs> but that, I think the last time the league got this much attention, it was that. Uh, was it Watertown in uh, um, no, it, Yeah. No. Well, maybe it yeah. was Skiba. Uh, but yeah. for, 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 for this about reason, the last big fight, like this issue wise, wasn't Watertown and Elmira? It was Elmira oh, and no. Carolina. Because Carolina. Yeah. that was a, I, the damn I don't think that too. was at, at no. this level. I think it was the, um, the Pontieri, Fulton, Beer 
chugging fest that happened where they <laughs> acted like they were going to fight and then one of them pulled a beer out of their but, pants. <laughs> no, but seriously, the last thing that this league was famous for was when um, Troy Passingham went into the stand, well, not the stands, a beer area and attacked that fan and it got national yep. news. So, And that's one of the scary things that when people go into the fan area... Because not only are they like attacking you personally, they have the skates on. That's another thing that scared me about when Nietzsche started attacking uh, Wright, is that Wright well, has... Well, so if you watch before, if you watch, so a goal was scored, mm -hmm. and there was some confusion because there was a penalty on the board on who was supposed to be in and out of the box. And during that time, you see Nietzsche and Wright yapping at each other and then I guess Wright may have given Nietzsche an obscene gesture. Well that's right though in general. So. Yeah. Because he's a cement head. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, but so, somebody commented that Jerome Bouchard heard the entire and saying we have to go to some website's article about it. He says I don't think we stirred it. Coach was Sticking up for our guys, uh, Casey from Columbus. And he's talking about the Columbus coach right there. Yeah. But it well, doesn't matter. He'll be suspended, too. The thing is, Casey, though, he didn't have to snap the um, stick over the glass, so that's where it went a little bit too far. And I'm not saying Nietzsche did any better, because he attacked right. No. Okay, so Nietzsche and Wright started it all. Yeah. And then when, when the ref finally throws both coaches out, uh, they both stand at the entrance of their bench waiting to go off the ice, which that can't be. That they've got to find a better way. They took their suit jackets off. Right. Yeah. yeah that's, and then he took his shirt they, off. They, he was they like, both walked ready. down the ice, ripped their jackets <laughs> off, and then right dropped his gloves and acted like he was going to square up with Nietzsche. And then Baker got in. Mike Baker got in between, and then. They went onto the bench, and Nick Wright beat up Mike Baker, and then you see Andre, then from a fan video, you see Andre Nietzsche on the bench trying to fight Nick Wright. Yeah, that was the second video. Yeah. That was the second video, like, right after the game. And it was like, yeah. It was right after the game he came back out. I that think. was right at the bench, so that was a good view right there. Because I think he came yeah. back out. Yeah. I think he came back out after that. Yeah. Because he was, he was like choke holding or something. something. So yeah. so Scott Dragon says that uh, Baker was being beat up by three Columbus players and Nietzsche jumped in. As far as I know, I was. But I mean, that that's the first time I've ever seen a coach jump in to protect a player. But the thing is, Baker can hold his own though. Right. And it was only Wright that was beating his ass. So. Plus, Wright was on the bench and not on the ice and. and Baker was still kind of on the ice, and mm -hmm. you know, I would assume you'd have better leverage from the bench, yeah, because you're not slipping on the ice, right? And but that's where everything went just went chaotic. And I, I literally like, I I love my fights. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's a scary moment. There's, I think the funniest part of that brawl though was when MJ Graham came out of the penalty <laughs> box. <laughs> Threw off his gloves and helmet and went after George Holt and then fell on his butt. When George Holt landed on top of him, Holt was just standing at Sunrise, minding his own business. <laughs> but that stems from the game before, though, too. Because Graham just wanted at anybody at that point because of the stick to the neck. Yeah. Um, hey, we got a bunch of people watching. And yeah, we got, we got people from Columbus and uh, Georgia oh, right now. <laughs> Both sides are in the wrong. Scott is from Georgia. Kit, I think Catherine's from uh, Columbus, and Casey's from Columbus. Um, Thanks for coming. Um, in. Um, Georgia is in Columbus. That's fine, right? But uh, Scott, the, I mean, we're Columbus not saying Georgia. two wrongs make a right. <laughs> That's Georgia's in Columbus. There, there's probably a Georgia in Columbus, so I'm still right. <laughs> <laughs> About that. Uh, Casey said, 
MJ did a good few hits when, in when he... He still fell out. on his butt. It doesn't matter. Um, he came out of the box, went to grab George Holt, and probably fell on his butt. But I, I, I do want to comment on what Scott Dragon said. Two wrongs don't make right. And that's not what we're saying here. Is that it's... Well, everyone made a huge mistake during that game. It's, it stems from the poor refing, them not getting it under control, and everyone's temper is just getting overheated from the game before. And yeah. It's also, why the heck in our uh, group chat did you say that the Carolina goalie would get suspended because neither Carolina goalie did anything? <laughs> He's talking to Michael Grammett, by the way. Now. I'm talking about more like the Columbus <laughs> mostly. Yeah. But the Carolina, okay, the Carolina goalie may get fined, but not the Neither Carolina goalie did anything. But the Columbus goalie, Man, that's an entertainment. more like get suspended. Um, yeah, Cody Carpinski's going to get suspended. Um, and I guess, I guess the other thing during that game is. They switched goalies like 15 times. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that, playing rock, paper, scissors. That's also stemming from uh, up until like halfway through the second period, the Columbus um, coach was changing them out after every goal. So that was the goalies trying to get back at their coach for basically pissing them off. So he, they were trying to piss their coach off at that point. So if you have a team yeah, doing that to your own coach... I don't know. I didn't watch the game. I just... Heard about it. Heard about the brawl. Went and found it on YouTube. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Robert. What did Amanda say? Uh, I just think it's sad that the, that they had to act like that. I understand there there is fighting in hockey, but there are little kids watching that. Let's look up to these guys. Uh, you know, guys. So the travel thing I have to say is a little bit. Uh, this is hockey. Huh? This is hockey. You know, it's our guys state. traveled to New York to play and then had traveled back to Battle Creek yeah. to play their game at 12.35 in the morning. Essentially <laughs> not. Screw you, Dad. <laughs> Screw <laughs> you. Was your dad on? Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, how was the cruise? Let us know. Uh, so, I can tell you. They had fun. <laughs> uh, and then Grand Turk took all the fun away because of like seven people who had cold symptoms and but <laughs> didn't did did um under the World Health Organization definition did not have signs of signs of coronavirus. They did not meet the requirements. But Grand Turk Can I get a box please? <laughs> you got Billy over here just watching. Chowing down on his delicious chili cheese fries. And we have Colt Maynard sitting here. <laughs> because we're, I'm just here for the ride, guys. <laughs> I'm just rambling on about this brawl. Um, that, that brawl, though, was something else. Scott Brand says 17 it, goalie changes. Oh, so 15 was a, I mean, wasn't Scott a Branch, Scott Dragon. So yeah, um, actually it was 18 at the end. So, uh, because someone and the um, goalies of the FHL... Did put up an actual uh, amount, uh, actual changeout sheet. That, so. That's that's absolutely ridiculous. That's so yeah. annoying. Okay. Yeah. Here's what Crystal said. Crystal says yes, or about the um, Battle Creek thing. Yes, but Port Huron is one of the best drivers ever. That man knows how how to drive her and get from one place to another in no time. Um, who's the driver? Yeah, who is who is the driver? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's Billy. Billy. I'm not the driver. No. Mm-mm. No. I couldn't drive all the way to Watertown. That's like an eight hour, nine hour drive. Yeah, well, it was like it's like you go through Canada. Columbus. Yeah, they can't go through Canada. Eight dragon 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 Columbus, because we know we can beat them immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But I'll say he's, he's, like, he's, he's like, that's a hard question. No, I mean, <laughs> obviously Columbus, because Carolina is your top team. So right. right. That's why I said that, Columbus. <laughs> Whenever you... That, and, that's an easy yeah, answer. Whatever your bets are higher. Hey, Columbus fans. No, I, I, feel comfortable in both. I, I was thinking about this last night. Hey, we got Trevor. Trevor who? 
Our old coach. Coach Trevor. Trevor? Yeah, our old coach. Is he Watertown's coach? No. No, he's he, in uh, juniors right now. Yeah, he went to juniors. In California. Oh. Cool. So. Um, Hello, Trevor. So, so I was thinking about. Hi, Trevor. I was thinking about this. <laughs> um, three game series. Port Huron versus Columbus or Port Huron versus Carolina. The traveling. If, oh if, it, if it goes to a game three. Because they're probably going to do a weekend one. Um, either way, game one is to the going to be at the lower seed. <laughs> With, Casey, um, Casey says, damn, don't have to roast us that so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's what we do, Casey. We roast every team, but then the league gets mad at me for it. <laughs> More specifically, just him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the league almost shut us down. <laughs> because I roasted their... Golden boys. I mean, um, I, ro- I roasted the league's team in Watertown. More roasting to come later in the episode, too, by the way. <laughs> A lot more. Especially where the East Upper Rally, so. Yeah. Who's your favorite East Upper Rally? Oh. <laughs> Who's your favorite East Upper Rally? I don't think you've played a home game yet, have you? I played one home game. Okay. Yeah. Just, just say him. Eh, just say us all as a collective. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, hey, we have a referee up there, too. Yeah, the blind yeah. ref shows up sometimes. Hey, we got David Nipper yeah. on. Nipper! Nipper! Nipper. Nipper. Nipper, you need to come on next episode. <laughs> Sweet! I do that. <laughs> um, don't go to... Get on... Nips, we want you on the show next week, but don't... Don't duck us this time and go back <laughs> south. Um, while we wait for his episode, we'll... Be right back after these commercial breaks. Screw you, Sonia. Hey guys, it's Crystal from the Port Huron Prowlers. Back to you from behind the scenes. I'm with Mitz today, and Mitz and I are here to give you guys some um, examples of things the guys would like on the bus trip. Mitz, do you think the guys would like granola bars? What about fruit and vegetables? Okay. Not vegetables, but how about fruit? Um, cases of water? What about some Powerade and Gatorade? Well, there you have it. Some true facts of what Mitz thinks our boys should have on the road trips. Thanks for watching and enjoy the show. At Big Boy, we've got lots of omelets all day, every day. Like the meaty meat lovers, savory southern, or hearty Denver. It's your big boy. Oh, not really. I got to be all elite wrestling tomorrow, guys. If you're on wrestling. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Oh, I thought that one
Border City Paranormal is a professional paranormal team located in the Blue Water area. If you have any uneasy feelings, hear bumps in the night that cannot be explained, or hear rumors about your home or business, please give us a call. Team that's your top team that's falling. But right at the moment, with Columbus possibly losing or Carolina losing, both of them possibly a lot of players for a while. It'd be nice to play them. One of them probably get it done over with. Oh really? You know, earlier so they're all back. Yeah. All right, and now welcome back. Um, let's roll back in, guys. Um, so let's get. If we have nothing else to talk about, um, get to our questions that we usually ask players. Yeah. Favorite uh, music style? Uh, it's between probably hip hop and EDM. What's your favorite movie? Sports. Sports Honestly. movie. Uh, it's basic but miracle. I grew up pretty much watching that movie. Mystery Alaska too. That's a good one. <laughs> Chris is pumped because not many people answer Mystery Alaska. And that's my favorite hockey movie too. So it's a good one. I like that one a lot. Miracle and Slapshot. Slapshots are great. You can't go wrong with the handsome brothers. Right. <laughs> Fa- favorite sport uh, besides hockey. Probably. I have to go with football. And before Crystal asks, because usually she does ask, favorite food before a game? I eat chicken normally before a game. Try to avoid uh, heavy meals though. Not Try to eat light. Oh, hold on. Let me answer. Mostly just chicken, a little bit of rice, a lot of water. Gotta wait. <laughs> Uh, Scott Dragon asks, who is your favorite hockey player besides yourself? Anze Kopitar. Well, currently Anze Kopitar. My all-time favorite. Probably Gordy Howe. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to him on that one. <laughs> That's great Uncle Gordy to me. It's my, my uncle. Uh, yes. Dan, Dan's um, just related no. to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Some, yeah. Some, yeah. Somehow we're all related to Dan. And- Are you going to be throwing <laughs> the <laughs> The roller hockey team. Are you going to try out? <laughs> we got <laughs> time I heard about is, uh, <laughs> Starting in May, we have roller hockey starting yeah. this year. Um, I guess we'll see where I am in May. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you grew up in this area, so it's... Yeah, I grew up in most of my life in St. Clair. Yeah. Currently in St. Clair still, but we were in Marysville for a while. Um, talk about that, you did actually play like... I saw a season with Marysville High. Yeah. And um, that you actually did put up for high school hockey pretty good numbers there, too. Um, what made you go from high school hockey to transfer to the juniors? I just really wanted to play a year of high school. And I grew up around it when it was like really big with my brother there around this time. And then growing up with it, I wanted that experience because it's kind of like the best crowds. It's all your friends and... It gives you the most energy, and it brought out like a different side of my game. So I had a lot of fun playing there. Then I went to travel, and just really fell back in love with the sport. And mm-hmm. Now I just want to go as far as I can. I mean, a great stepping stone. So. <laughs> oh, I'm more than happy to be here. It couldn't be more perfect to come back to the hometown and be exactly. Able to play. That's a, nice to actually um, go from season one, where we had essentially no one as a hometown person, to what three or four now from the surrounding area. So, um, to be on a team with like Dalton Young and Austin Fraterly who grew up in this area, yeah. how, how does it feel to play with those kind of people? I never thought I would play with some of the people that are on this team. Like, Rupert kind of blew my mind. Uh, Dalton Jay's played a lot of good hockey. I mean, everyone in this league is playing well, and this team is playing high in hockey. Mm-hmm. And never expected to see myself here, but see how it goes for the time being, and hopefully I can stay around. Right. And speaking of Dalton Jay, congratulations on his 300th career point. Yes. He had a good game. He tore it up. Um, 
And let's give the congratulations going for Brian Parsons, who got his first career. Yeah. He got two goals. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is back to back, too. Yeah. yeah. I thought he was going to get the hat. <laughs> yeah, almost. And back to Dalton J on the uh, natural hat trick in whichever <laughs> game it was there. Uh, it was Friday night. Friday night. Um, someone else got a first career goal with you. I can't remember who. Sam. Oh, he, yeah. was, he added this week as well. Um, wasn't it the same game as you? He got it in the day after. Oh, the day after. Okay. So it's up. Either way, it's we've had a lot of firsts. We lot stole of, a lot of pucks this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Spe- speaking of pucks, where the heck are our pucks that um, you bring to the show? I'm yeah. sorry, guys. <laughs> we we got to give away the Jeremy Skibus. Uh, yeah, we have a Jeremy puck. Skibus. We have a Columbus River Dragons puck signed by Jeremy Skiba that once we hit 500 likes on Facebook, hopefully real people and not fake people. <laughs> um, we'll be giving away that puck from uh, the game where he was the emergency backup goalie mm-hmm. that nobody awesome. cares about anymore because it got overshadowed by that guy over in Toronto. Screw <laughs> 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 <Girl> Abby's. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, coin- also coinciding with our 50th episode, which is happening right now. Um, we... <laughs> We are giving away two tickets to Friday night's game. Um, first one to answer the question following the break, this next coming up break, um, will win the tickets. So, uh, answer Catherine's uh, question. No. Who, who the heck are the Columbus Legends? And why would we be watching their games? <laughs> the um, Columbus Legends game was. Um, Actually, I know what she's talking about. It was the Columbus Cottonmouth um, Lemonade team versus um. Dragons. It was. I don't think it was the Dragons because it happened before their game. Oh. Um. No, we didn't watch it. Sorry. We hey, didn't. Catherine, who did they have led? We didn't know played. about it. To be honest. Um, it was actually well publicized all over the FHL. Um, because it was yeah, Cottonmouth. I want. It was a charity. Well, I didn't pay attention though. <laughs> Um, it, I want to say it was like their local defi- fire department or something like that. Hey, you want to answer that question for them? Put it on the, type it on in there for them. Yeah. What? Well, there's the keyboard. I'm gonna. I said after the break. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Anyways. Uh, the question he answered for free tickets. Oh. Oh, the, um, it, the it was Cottonmouth. Cottonmouth versus Fort Benning hockey. Oh, okay. But okay. That was actually a quite interesting game if you actually did watch it, Chris, which I did. You watched hey, it? Yeah. Is that on YouTube? Um, what my, uh, I have people that I know down there that actually, like, sent me a feed, so. Um, well, you have no life, so. <laughs> well, you know what? I like to pay attention to hockey so I can keep up with this yeah. I'm not going to watch a charity game for an FPHL team that <laughs> I wouldn't even watch a charity game if the Prowlers were playing in it. Uh, they were in the SPHL back in 2016. Yeah, yeah you know. But, um, Heck, I barely watch the Red Wings at this point because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing yeah. great. They are. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, as long as... <laughs> LA Kings. They're doing really good, too. Mm. They're killing it. Did, um, did, did you start watching them because of Jack Campbell? No, I've watched the Kings since I was a young kid, since, like, 2004. So, th- you say... So, like, caviar. Um, so, are they your favorite team, then? Yeah. For Besides while, the King, then. <laughs> they've... I've liked them when they were really bad, and then they had a good four years, and now they're rebuilding, I guess, <laughs> or just getting rid of everyone, yeah. I should say. And it's sad, though, because they've got, kind of gotten a lot. Yes, yeah, we know the Red Wings. They just got rid of a lot of people, so. Yeah. They got rid of Howard. They're power. trying to rebuild Young. Oh, Red Wings. Howard's yeah, done after stuff. this season. His contract's up. Thank God. I think he'll get signed in the AHL. He did really good. They got to get rid of the coach, yeah. too. <laughs> um... After the break, Bobby won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, look for his body outside, please. <laughs> I'll just watch him the There's a dumpster over there. 
Um, Bobby, just look for a distraction for us. Thank you so much. What was that? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> um, and thank you for that, Catherine. She did send us a link to the game so that you guys can watch if you want. No. So. <laughs> Sorry. No. Um, who? Let's, let's, let's reel this back, you guys. Um, so who is your favorite actor to watch? Just see Billy. <laughs> Just say Billy? <laughs> he had the tendency to play, so you can see a play in May, because I'm going to play. Right. May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, What's May? May. Yeah. It's you never know. But, uh, <laughs> I don't really watch too many movies. I'm not a big, I don't watch a lot of TV or play a lot of video games, sadly. I should, I, yeah. I don't do very much offside of hockey and hanging out with friends, socializing more than anything. But oh. I guess so. Probably something else. Crystal asked that for some reason she hasn't chimed in as much as she usually does. Um, what advice do you give? Would you give to young hockey players? Uh, be a coachable player, a hundred percent. If you think. And don't come into a team with expectations to be, like, the top guy. Just understand, like, everybody's working just as hard around you after you get to a certain level. So just keep your mindset right and focus on the end goal. But definitely be a coachable player. That is the one thing I learned in my young career so far that helped me the most. Even if you don't like what you're being told. Like my last year juniors, I played defense. I wasn't very good at it, but we needed it. So it's just making sacrifices to advance your team to win or whatever you think is best for them. Right. So, that's definitely really good advice too. So. Um, we it's had hard a, being young. It's our, our junior team, the first year here, they were the worst team. We won six games the whole season. So they went on the next year to make the, oh, the final so, yeah. yeah. And, the, you know, the thing is, is and the coach that come in, he played the same way. Two-way hockey, wherever I decide I'm putting you today is where I want you to play. Yeah, no even, if you're on, you know, even if you're a scratch, I mean, you know, everybody helps. It's all a team effort. Because mm -hmm. whether you're helping in the game or helping in practice or helping people get better. So, mm -hmm. and... The way to get better yourself is to practice, practice. So. Yeah, just push yourself. And it's a long grind, and it's hard on the body. Take care of your body from a young age. Yeah. Um, Which one? <laughs> Bobby got. Bob, Bobby was wondering who was sleeping. Who was so sleeping? Bobby got distracted. Bobby, wake up. <laughs> Um, we don't need you to sleeping like you did through the, um, never mind. <laughs> oh. No, ask me, ask me what, um, uh, don't, ask don't. questions for you guys. <clears throat> What's the next question? No, that's just me saying, uh, ask questions for, uh, Nader and Billy. Uh, oh. So, um, Billy, you've been awfully quiet today. Do you have anything to say? Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's Pub Crawl Saturday, so oh. it's going to be lots of drunk beer. people downtown. And then they Interesting can... people for Saturday's game. Yeah. Oh, and we'll the be bringing back early. the famous green beer. And we just lost whoa, power. Whoa, 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 whoa. We did not. Um, we still have power. Yeah, make sure, no, make sure we have power in the blocks. It's still charging. We're up. back. Woo! They turn the lights off. <laughs> scary moment, guys. Sorry. A light <laughs> switch somewhere that they just turned um, off. Because if we lost power, all the lights in here will have gone out. Oh, that's such. And um, the, they they shut this area off a lot of times on us. The um. That's fine. The the uh, lighting outside still makes us look whiter than white. <laughs> Except Billy. Wow. <laughs> right. I, look at the camera. Well, actually. I still look <laughs> like skin it on there. <laughs> wow. It does. It does. You know, Billy, go ahead and slap him. <laughs> but if you guys are going out on Saturday, be safe. Here you go. Yes. Yep. 
Do not like your drive if you don't well, have to drive. Right you know, so take a cab. <laughs> take an alert cab. There's alert cabs that you guys can take. Are, are there going to be um, buses? That yes, there are buses. Um, have fun. Dance. Do your life. Are there going to be school buses? Or? I don't know. I'm yeah, it's going to be the... I'm not in charge of that. Are you going to be one of the drivers? No, I'm not going to be one of the drivers. Okay. And they're bringing in ten times the amount of buses I used to have, too. I believe there's going to be ten buses for that event. Okay. The official meeting that our drivers are going to have will be Thursday morning. Um, That's just one of the companies that you use. No, they, it, we, you know. it would be just first two. Oh, okay. We're going to have a bunch of drunk people at the hockey game Saturday night. Woo! <laughs> no, Bring them. I mean, they're going to be Woo! I mean, okay. Two Sometimes two, they make the best hockey fans. Truth be told, <laughs> yeah, I've done a pub crawl in um, <laughs> St. <Saint> Clair. <laughs> and it was Don't throw it in the ice. Yes. There were a bunch of people. Uh, really? Eight before the midnight. You, you, you want to know? You want to know the place that would be fun to do a pub crawl? Mackinac Island. That, yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be pretty fun. I, I know. I know the. Well, for anybody but me, because I don't drink, so. Yeah, I don't <laughs> But you can still watch and see the other people. Yeah. I mean, I know. I know. Um, on Mackinac Island, they have a T-shirt that once once you hit all the bars or wherever whatever's on the t-shirt there you can get the t-shirt that said Mike. hey Mike I gotta interrupt you Chris is over here digging for his cherries <laughs> <laughs> uh oh uh oh of course he is <laughs> he's always digging for cherries um, and then he says some inane comment that we've been clothing for Anyway, the um, event, though, is one to, one to seven that day, and I believe the game Saturday still starts at 7.30, I believe, right? Or, um, um, Saturday's game starts at 6. At 6, okay. Uh, Friday's game starts at okay. 7.30. That's why I wanted to ask, so. And then 3 on Sunday. What's that? the parade first. Yes, the parade. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if I'm in it yet. I'll get the itinerary on Friday. Lenny's on. Hi, Mr. Lenny. Really? Um, a 6 p.m. store on Saturday? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's, it's, it's family fun night. Right. We're having a pizza party and then like more six thirty. No, 6. Oh. Yeah, so. so it's a 7.30, 6, and 3. Yeah. Like the Elmira game. Uh, and there's yeah. a meet and greet. So you can meet some of the players on Saturday. So and there's a post pregame skate too. But don't don't you have to like sign a waiver and have your own skates, otherwise they won't allow you on the ice. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they don't um, have my size. There was an instant <laughs> you guys can come meet um Colton. Uh, it's right now too. It's um come on down to Big Boys um where kids still eat free so. Um, What's the age limit? Uh, <laughs> Definitely 16. not your age. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it is four. Is it, it is up to up sixteen to, or is it thirteen? Up to eleven, I believe. Oh. Jason, we need an answer. We need a. <laughs> Mom. Ten, ten years old. Thank you. Ten, no, thank you so much. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jason, but either way, that's um, watch our show. Answer us. <laughs> what? Watch the show, Jason. <laughs> he usually pops that. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't yet. <laughs> so. But anyways. Um, hey, if you ever think that it takes about a minute for the question to get back to him, you know, and then, then he can answer it, and then it takes a few for us to get it. Yeah. Right. Um, before we actually go to commercial break, um, should I um, do the all telling question? Go ahead. Um, um, I wouldn't because he's only, he has been with the team long enough to actually and That's the best time to ask, actually. Um, <laughs> well, we, who's, we, who's the better coach, we, Pace or Graham? We don't actually have to <laughs> ask that anymore because we got an answer last week from Bob Young. Now, now we have to um, try to get more. <laughs> They're both great in their own right. 
um, in your opinion. <laughs> uh, they're both completely, I mean, they're both very interesting coaches. It's a great time. I don't have anything negative about either of them yet. <laughs> oh, he gone. Great so if y'all don't great see him, <laughs> y'all don't see him. <laughs> I don't know. It's always a great time with them being coaches. I don't prefer either of them over each other. I feel like they both do what they need to do and help us. So. All right. Have you ever yeah. been to stay in the middle on that? And that way I can't get either of them mad, too. <laughs> I mean, I, I I guess that's the way to go. But. Yeah, and, and after Grimm's fight this weekend, I oh, don't he think, beat he beat that guy. I, I, <laughs> I don't think Colton really wants to uh, try and stir the pot with either of them. <laughs> well, both of them can fight, so that's the problem now. Yeah, everybody on the team can throw hands. <laughs> um, but we'll find out more. Um, call me after this break, commercial break. Wow, I can't talk. I definitely need a commercial break, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Crystal from the Port Huron Prowlers. Back to you from behind the scenes. I'm with Mitz today, and Mitz and I are here to give you guys some um, examples of things the guys would like on the bus trip. Mitz, do you think the guys would like granola bars? What about fruit and vegetables? Okay, not vegetables, but how about fruit? Um, cases of water? What about some Powerade and Gatorade? Well, there you have it. Some true facts of what Mitz thinks our boys should have on the road trips. Thanks for watching and enjoy the show. At Big Boy, we've got lots of omelets all day, every day. Like the meaty meat lovers, savory southern, or hearty Denver. It's your Big Boy. Border City Paranormal is a professional paranormal team located in the Blue Water area. If you have any uneasy feelings, hear bumps in the night that cannot be explained, or hear rumors about your home or business, please give us a call. Hi and welcome back and we just had a Interesting little behind the scenes chat. Yeah, we were talking about you having too many cherries there, Chris. That's why um, you can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, about that. Um, as <laughs> about that. I got no comeback. I can't think on my feet. <laughs> um, as, oh, I quit. How does you quit every week? Yes, I do. Make fun of him where he can't think. <laughs> 
gotta admit, you bring this on yourself. <laughs> but the sad thing is, he's talking about hot dogs, and. <laughs> right. Right. He, he, was like, he, was, he was like, this. we're talking about hot dogs. What? <laughs> we're talking about che- I got cherries at home too. Never mentioned a hot dog. We can have like a cherry eat a contest up here. So, would they be sweet cherries or dark cherries? I got the bar mids. Can I, can I um, announce uh, I got, an impression? I got some sitting at home, sitting in moonshine. Of course I can. Ooh. I, don't, I don't drink, remember? <laughs> um, before we go any further, guys, um, earlier in this episode, we announced someone got their 300th point. Uh, for the two tickets, who got the 300th career point in the FBHL this season? Um, anyways, now we can go on. For, okay. Which Pro Hours player is the most recent player to reach 300 career points? Jake says hi. That, that's, Can I answer? That's the question. <laughs> Do you want two tickets? I'll take two more tickets. <laughs> 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 um, well, I'm sorry, you're kind of too late, so it's a. Len won it. <laughs> Lenny won? Yeah. Oh, Dal- yeah, I forgot Dalton. Oh, <laughs> so you forget? No, I didn't about. forget. I didn't forget. I was with Dalton. <laughs> you mentioned it like ten minutes ago, Billy. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we're also doing an auction later. I took care of getting. We're, we're, it's we're, for, we're giving away. It's the right to win a date to take <laughs> Billy on a date. So. Um, highest bid wins. Billy, starting. Billy. At, <laughs> Billy's open to whoever Vince the Dino. highest bidder. Billy's open to the highest bidder. Why got to <laughs> The goal of this episode is to make him the most uncomfortable. Is it a bid? <laughs> she said give the tickets Why away. Give the tickets, give the tickets away. away again. <laughs> you don't want them. <laughs> so does that mean I have to come up with another freaking question then? Thank yes. you so much. Thank you, Lenny. Really um, we love making Chris thing. Ooh, I, I got it. He's a security. Uh, he, <laughs> he is security. Name, he screams beside, three minutes, five minutes. He has. <laughs> besides Colton Maynard, name the uh, other two prowlers that had, that scored their first career goals this past weekend. Ready, set, go. <laughs> do, 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 do. I really hope they answer the one of them. <laughs> and in the meantime, uh, do, do, do. the the. Oh, crap. <laughs> Everybody's looking oh, at you. The, um, Who scored the hot dog eating contest. We we know you, we were talking to you during the commercial break that you're not a big fan of hot dogs and you like Italian sausage you like more. Bra, yeah, hot dogs are not good. But it, <laughs> if you were to... If you were to do an eating contest with it and you had to pick two teammates to be on your team, who would they be? Z- wait, is it a hot dog eating? Yeah, hot dog. Parsons, he likes hot dogs a lot. <laughs> Just say Zachary's so okay because I think everybody else has. Yeah. We, we, we need him on the show to yes. ask that question. <laughs> That'll be a good well, question. Wow. Probably after him. I, I don't team. know, it might be uh, younger, Dalton. Hey, TMZ. Just funny. because I went on the when we went to oh, hey. Ohio, uh, he ate the entire car ride. It was like a good four hours, and I don't think he ever stopped eating. <laughs> <laughs> so I know he could probably eat. <laughs> oh, um, so, so I'm some, look younger. <laughs> something else because I just went on Facebook and it reminded me. Uh, this Friday, uh, the Prowlers have teamed up with Project Pantry. Um, oh, Katie got it. No, she didn't. She got one right. Who was? Yeah. Besides Beast. Colton Maynard. Yeah. That's Who funny was, though. You got we, one. That's Who's right. The other? Yeah, the other ones. So Katie, there was one other person who got their <laughs> other <laughs> first I mean, goal. We, <laughs> we just, we just <laughs> mentioned his name too. Last year's goal like this. Oh my god. Um, girl, so did you hear that girl? One needed the goal for like eighty. Katie, you must have heard it. it. Hopefully. Well, they they are having a raffle Friday for the Project Pantry thing, and I'm pretty sure we can. Somehow sneak a date with Billy into that raffle. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy. What's the worst that can happen? A date with Billy. I don't know. It'd be scary. Don't worry, Mitchell. Win. 
<laughs> I have to go for bits, I guess. <laughs> Take one for the team, you know. <laughs> hey, what, what are you scared of? If, if somebody were to win a raffle to go on the David King, what are you He's scared, scared it might be Kevin. <laughs> wow. Hey, come on, hey. Wow. That's bad, I'm sorry. No, Chris. Oh yeah, wait, you're not supposed to be in the shot because we were uh, off, I mean. <laughs> we off to Robert, sorry guys. <laughs> the question would be more the two scores, <laughs> three of the players versus goals. Besides Colton Maynard, yeah. name the other two players, other two Paul players. Yeah. Go. I can't believe it. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Way to go, Kitty. Yo. So Mention your two tickets Sam will be waiting Ford. at Will Call for you. What? Get it, get it! As you can see, Bill is really right. excited for you. Can't I uh. click on the dang He's excited name. for this date in the raffle. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need to bid this one up high. Oh, so. <laughs> So, um, talking on, um, she follows the page. going uh, based off of, like, dates now, okay. what was your worst ever kind of, like, date experience? Is it Friday game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we're just gonna... Oh, he's going first, man. Uh, you can go. That's oh, all you, you said <laughs> you can go first. Lead the way. My sure. worst date? Um, okay, you go like the page. What is my first date? Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about worst first dates. <laughs> I don't know. Perfect timing on that one. <laughs> I can't talk about it out of here probably because no. Oh wait, there we go. That bad, huh? <laughs> I don't Was it your fault or their fault? Go ahead. Their fault. Go ahead. Mutual because I'm not that like I'm not too bad of a person. Not I need my popcorn for this one. Try and scroll down <laughs> to my dad's comment because of, I don't know. So, um. He's lost in the phone. No, I was trying to figure out. Okay. Okay. <coughs> trying to figure out where that Katie person lived. So. No, if she lived in town. She's our regular, so. Right. Because um, you don't know if it would be somebody from Columbus who. True. Can't make the game. Yeah. Right. Give but we love our Columbus game. fans, though. Give yeah, we just hate our Elmira fans. <laughs> um, so what would your worst ex dating experience be? Uh, went to a drive-in movie. It wasn't necessarily like the person or anything, but it was really cold. Justin, the speakers this is didn't supposed work. to be your job. Oh. It was a lot of money. Yeah, so. so it was just kind of a waste of like two and a half hours to watch a silent movie that wasn't right. supposed to be silent. All right. And then it was freezing and we had to have like, the car open. It was supposed to be a nicer night, but it got cold and rainy and she wanted to stay. Of course. But it wasn't yeah. my car, so it didn't, wasn't my car to get wet. <laughs> uh, um, well, it kind of looks like, it looks like we're like cell phone bars. <laughs> Tallest or shortest. Good service. So, um, full service. And then drops off down there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. <laughs> but, um, well, so, I mean, when, when you go to a beach, once you get to a certain spot, there's always a drop off. So, <laughs> Rob, you're the beach? <laughs> well, nice and sandy. I don't want to say that, but. No. <laughs> um, so, which drive in the movie theater was this? Because I want to avoid it. Oh, it was in Richmond area. Okay. I don't even know the name of it. That's the one that, if it's the one I'm thinking about, it has since closed. Probably. Old drive yeah, no, movie probably, theaters closed. Uh, Honestly, it's, it was so cool. just not a good time. Yeah. Cause that, if I'm thinking it's a twin drive-in. Yeah, it was. So yeah, that, that has since closed. I know the one over by, yeah, I think it is closed. I can see why. Yeah, that one's been closed for a and while. It's sad though too. I mean, we went to like there's posts, and then they had like speakers on them. You're supposed to like set them in your car. 
and we went to like five or six different sections of these posts, and none of them were on. They, they might have been so screen stuff, but that, that place has been closed. She for wanted a while. to stay really bad. <laughs> I took a nap after like an hour. But yeah. it, was, it was a paid for nap, and that's not fun. Um, actually, the, um, surprisingly, a really good drive in theater, though, that's yeah, still open. Is the one actually up in Sandusky, though? Um, most of them know you just turn your car radio to the yeah. station and instead of putting uh, the speakers in your car. See, that's smart. It might work. I know the one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, the the one up in Sandusky, um, yeah, which is the, the highway drive in, it actually that's it has the radio uh, dial in it. So um, the people are actually really nice there. They do an annual trick or treat for the kids too Ooh, there. Yeah. And oh, great. It's actually surprisingly well kept too. <laughs> and Mayor. Okay, okay, John Rhodes. Hey, he's on the show, so be quiet. Oops. Um, somebody turn the TV off. What's up, Rick? Um, anyways, talk about news and all that. You still have half an hour to get in line for the election polls. If you still haven't voted, please get out there and... Pick a candidate you yes. want to run against the other side. Who cares? Yes. Mm-hmm. Vote it. No matter where you're voting, too, it's a, it, your vote always counts no matter what. It's, um, if you don't think it'll count, you, you're thinking wrong. And please do your civic duty and make everyone happy. And then, and then in November, do it all over again. Yes. <laughs> but that one's for real. Yes. This, this, this one's just for who you want to... It's the pre-trials. Go against each other. Run. It's the warm-up. Go against yeah. each other. That's stretch. Right now, it's regular season. November is the playoffs. Just think of it that way. No. no November is the finals. November is the championship. Yeah. This is the quarterfinals. In no, this will be the regular season. No, we have a vote. There's a vote in August. I heard in no. Birchfield. This, this is this is the so. semifinal. No, this for is the, the president this, part. This, it's this is the semifinal. This is to get down to your Democrat and Republican. Yes. Yes. Still this so this is the semifinal. That still counts as the regular season. We go regular season. Semifinal happens during when we pick somebody to run against somebody else, and then we got. Mike, that's what we're that's doing. What we're doing. <laughs> Let's get it down to the two. No, 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 no. I'm talking about really finish. This, this is what we're doing. We're, we're <laughs> voting to pick somebody to run against, to run against Trump. Or After we're picking Trump to, to run against somebody. Okay? This is the semifinal. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is the, they get it down to two people. This one is. <laughs> this is your primary. I know, I still count this in the regular season. <laughs> The regular season final. That's it. The regular season some campaign. Lens spring training. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Len. I mean, I'm just saying. My opinion only. That's it. That's it. Your opinion sucks. <laughs> After Thank this you. show, tune in for our uh, political show. <laughs> don't actually tune in. There's no political show. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We don't want that responsibility, <laughs> especially in this town. Oh yeah, that, that'd be a crazy show right there. That's that would be that would go off the rails quickly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, we did have a Trump rally back in. When the heck did they have that rally? January. Something like that, yeah. Well, it was like cold as heck outside. I don't know how they managed. Um, it wasn't there. <laughs> I, I so. stayed away from downtown at that, that same day too. Um, Scott Dragon says they're doing a PTO. <laughs> but, um, anyways, an, uh, some of the other question is, what's your favorite arena to play in? Yeah, we're gonna get over over well, run by a bunch of kids here. In, well, it's like, a, in my entire career. your entire career. Yeah, your career. Yeah. Oh. Well, I thought you meant out of like the teams in the FHL. Say I've played a whole lot of teams. <laughs> um, played in the Yost before. That was probably my favorite. Oh. Michigan's. 
That is, that's actually beautiful. Yeah, there's yeah. just a really nice bar. Yeah. It's really class. I don't know. Something about that bar is really nice, but I don't like this game. So. <laughs> but know that, um... We did say kids eat free. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's a smart family. Yeah. A bomb. No Battle bomb. Creek. Battle Creek drink is top notch. Whole bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first we've ever heard somebody say that. <laughs> Bob, no, the Yost Arena, if you haven't actually seen it, the, um, the back wall on the one side has a beautiful, like, um, it has a beautiful <laughs> window set up that actually... It's right off the ice, and it's actually amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we all still need to take a road trip down there. Yeah. Unfortunately, it won't be this season. Yeah. They're down to the season. Why? Why don't you have one of the results while the polls are still? Um, the Rink Battle Creek is actually, with, how, with the, that capacity, is actually a great arena, too. It's, it's not a bad rink at all. The ice wasn't bad, so. Right, and that system they have to freeze that ice is actually a newer one too, so that's a good thing. So it's not ancient like that. Good morning. No. <laughs> good morning, Scott. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but the, the system is old, old. Oh yeah, it's peaking in the middle. Yeah. So yeah, it's um, fun. Every day's a new day. But. What's uh, Len's question right there? What is Len's question? Uh, yes, we have a team. <laughs> is Robertson playing this weekend? Real <laughs> Oh, Glenn was asking if they're gonna have a team this weekend after after the suspensions come out. Uh, somehow. And, uh, John, They'll manage. John asked if Robertson playing this weekend. Um, uh, we're supposed so. to, but <laughs> I have uh, he's, he's supposed, supposed to be back tomorrow, so probably have never playing this weekend too. Yes. Yeah. You be heard it. From That's a personal choice. Yeah. I mean, he's supposed to be back, but I don't. He I loves don't spanks. Talk to him, so. uh, he's, I met him yet. Yeah, he's he's he loves spanks, so I don't see why he wouldn't mm -hmm. want to play. And he loves more here on too, so. so uh, everyone's excited, so I mean, I hope he's back. He seems like he's a huge add to the team. So. Right. Very, very important to the team that he's been here. Um. The one, one bad thing about this um, upcoming weekend, though, too, is um, it won't be a true test for us come playoff time if we do play him in the semifinals. So. Hey, congratulations to Luke Glendening. He's playing his 500th NHL game to, right now for the Red Wings. Congrats. <laughs> um, the, the one good thing for um, the Red Wings this season, right? Yeah, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> um, and unless San Jose and Ottawa start winning a bunch of games, we're not going to have the best chance to get the first overall pick. <laughs> thanks, thanks, San Jose, for trading your first rounder to Ottawa. <sighs> uh, uh, the draft. You never know. <laughs> get a good draft spot. Well... Oh. Uh. The lowest we'll go, though, is fourth, though, right? If we finish last in the league, yeah. I think the lowest right now is seventh, something like that. But that that's if the Red Wings win out and every team ahead of them loses. All right. Speaking of the Red Wings, we're playing here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see standings. Because the maximum number of points... The Red Wings can get is 63. <laughs> so it, that would time with San Jose. The it, basically, if Los Angeles and Ottawa win, and San Jose gets one point, Detroit will finish. Will wrap up being dead last in the league. Uh, welcome Creek. to the league, Battle Creek. I mean Detroit. <laughs> hey, be nice. We've won more games than. Battle Creek. <laughs> yeah, um, more um, roasting right after these commercial breaks. Hey guys, it's Crystal from the Port Heron Prowlers. Back to you from behind the scenes. I'm with Mitz today, and Mitz and I are here to give you guys some um, examples of things the guys would like on the bus trip. 
Mix, do you think the guys would like granola bars? What about fruit and vegetables? Okay, not vegetables, but how about fruit? Um, cases of water? What about some Powerade and Gatorade? Well, there you have it. Some true facts of what Mitz thinks our boys should have on the road trips. Thanks for watching and enjoy the show. At Big Boy, we've got lots of omelets all day, every day. Like the meaty meat lovers, savory southern, or hearty Denver. It's your Big Boy. Border City Paranormal is a professional paranormal team located in the Blue Water area. If you have any uneasy feelings, hear bumps in the night that cannot be explained, or hear rumors about your home or business, please give us a call. Um, welcome back. Um, we're just talking about Mike's... Uh Phone lock code. Yeah, don't. This passcode's all ones. <laughs> um, uh, actually, you guys don't know it anyway, so it doesn't matter. 4287. I believe him right here. Is, that's oh. <laughs> um, Okay. And S Scott Dragon does have the Sabres going all the way to win this cup this, the cup this year, so... The Buffalo uh, Sabres? Yeah. I like the Sabres, but I don't agree. Is he? That's a far fetch. Ask him. Do you what are you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's in the water down there? The Sabres to win the cup this year? I give the Maple Leafs a chance for Hey, he predicted that Battle Creek was going to go in the playoffs. That is true. <laughs> Hey, you know, okay? But the funny no, thing is, is um. No more predictions from you. Okay. You, you, right. you officially got canceled with your predictions just, just because. Well. Playoffs. Carolina, Tampa, Colorado. 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 No, yes. that's just fun. <laughs> right. yeah, pretty much like all of Michigan, if you actually test it. 
Yeah. Yeah. We drink chemical flavor. stuff from the chemical Have, valley. No, we drink our straight from the river. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're right there on the border. With, with all with all the fish poop and No, our our intake pipe's actually north of Chemical Valley, so Hey, what's the hazard with TMZ putting that pipe there? Uh nice well, since TMZ's not over. Why, don't, why are we talking about them again? Oh. Because we can. Because it oh. affects us this weekend. Yeah, you want to talk about the fight again, don't you? Uh, no. It's it's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so wait, wait. We got to wait for the suspensions to come up. But there's going to be a lot of them. Yeah. Which we'll cover next week. <laughs> the, yeah. Actually. Um, besides, besides Nick Wright being suspended, because we know that's going to happen. He'll be out for the season. Um, of the people that that are probably left on the Carolina team, who would you most willing to be to fight? I've never played Carolina. Uh, Jay Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> if he comes down. If uh, I really, I don't know. I guess it depends on the situation how, how, on the ice. Wait, right? They do something stupid. You have to you gotta fight. Travel up here. Yeah, Carolina needs whatever of comes down to. Out of Carolina, who would I fight? So they have the roster. Uh, well, probably the biggest one. You're gonna have to do it because I'm not a very like key player. I would go after their key player. It's a great trade off. Just swap them off. I'll be fine. So like Slock and who's that their number one person? Yeah. Come on, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My head is Walter and pick someone to fight. There you go. So yeah. One of their top players. So they gotta sit for five, and then I sit for five, and it makes a big difference for them. That game. I think we just got distracted. <laughs> well, Bobby Wigger and the guy in the jungle ball would do you win back. <laughs> um. He's waving. <laughs> if you can, watch Main Street Prowler. Hey, 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 run over there. Hey, get everybody, hey, oh get everybody gosh, looking out there now. <laughs> I, I, oh, he's showing his muscles now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's reel this back in, guys. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, you want to do the recaps now? Yes, please. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, I see this. Play, really play, play, yeah. <laughs> I don't sleep. We, we, hey, we played, uh... <laughs> Billy. <laughs> we, we know you, uh, don't usually go to bed, but on our, being on our show is not the time to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Katie, if you're sleeping. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm fine. Next thing you know, Billy's just like... (laughs) (laughs) I didn't know we bored you that much, Billy. (laughs) Hey, you said said right after the commercial break, it's more roasting, so... (laughs) Anyway, uh, so Prowler's played Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Friday and Saturday was Watertown, Sunday was in Battle Creek, and the league is so screwed up on why they did that. (laughs) So, yeah, uh, Friday fun. night, it was a 6-4 Prowlers win over the Watertown Wolves. Suck it. <laughs> Watertown. Your three stars of the game were Brian Parsons with two goals. Yeah. Austin Fairley with a goal and assist. And Ryan Marker with two goals and an assist for Watertown. I probably will put him second star, but that's what Watertown did. Uh, so, Ryan Marker opened the scoring for Watertown at the 5-13 mark on... Assist from uh, Derek uh, Boudreau and William uh, Lamaru. Terrible. Huh? Terrible. Yeah. And then at the 12:26 mark, it was Austin Fairley from Matt Graham and Dalton Young. And Dalton will be happy about that one because he was last week every time. <laughs> uh, then at the 2:28. Two, two Didn't we say he'd probably get a goal because everybody we've had. The majority of the people that we've had on the show have scored after the night. Yeah, show. but he didn't score. No? He got an assist. Well, he's still got a point. It's a point. Right. Yeah. Well, he's going to score soon. Yeah. He's he on a buzzer. 
Then, then at the uh, 208 mark of the second period, it was first career goal for Brian Parsons. Yep. Uh, assist nip. from Dalton J and Joe Pace Jr. That was a nip. <laughs> That, that was that was a really beautiful goal. Mm-hmm. At the six sixteen mark of the second period, it was once again Brian Parsons from Austin Farley and Justin Portillo. And at the seven fifty one mark, it was newest Prowler Stephen Fall Stephen Fowler from Dalton J and Brandon Contrato. <clears throat> then at the ten eleven mark of the second period on the power play. Kyle Powell for Watertown for more Ryan Marker and Derek Boudreau. At the 17.36 mark, it was Marker from Tyson Bruce. At the 110 mark, it was uh, Dennis Zaychik from Dominic Bobzio and Kyle Powell. <laughs> I, Roll back in. Then at the 1846 mark, it was Mike Morasso from Stephen Fowler and Dalton J. And then with five seconds left, it was uh, Bobby Scoyle? Sokol? I with the empty net. Bobby Scoyle. Yeah, whatever. Uh, at least I got that part right. Yeah. Empty net. So, penalties. 618. <laughs> at the 1618 mark of the first period. It was uh, Derek Boudreau, Bobby Skull, five for fighting. Uh, Which we have the video Skull right also here. Also got two for instigate, and Boudreau got a double minor for high sticking. We're bringing up the fight right now in the video. There's a fight. I don't know how he got an instigator on this, but whatever. Because he started attacking. That wasn't me coming in. Um, that, that video. it was just a quick little one though. It's. Get back to work, idiots. <laughs> but, anyways. Uh, so, back to the penalties. At the 1935 mark, it was Brian Parsons, uh, two for holding. Yeah, it killed uh, the stat sheet. <laughs> and then at the uh, 353 mark of the second period, it was Brian Parsons, two for holding. Hi, Greg Rich. Too bad you're uh, with that other team now, so we don't care about you anymore. <laughs> then at the 9.15 mark of the second period, is Joe Pace Jr. Two minutes for being Joe Pace Jr. I mean, cooking. <laughs> well, essentially that is his mandatory. <laughs> well, he also got a slashing penalty, so he's got his, <laughs> he got his two out in the game. <laughs> he always does. Then at the 10.44 mark, it was Dominic Bogzell for two for cross-checking. And at the 12-10 mark, Matt Graham, two for hooking. At the 7-33 mark of the third period, it was Pace, two for slashing. 11-37 mark, it was Don Young, two for high sticking. 13-02 mark, Kyle Powell, two for slashing. At the 13-54 mark, it was Justin Bertillo, two for high sticking. And attendance for that game was 7-05. It's water time. Ooh, yeah. That sucks. 705? Yeah. Watch their team lose. Oh, that's. And then Saturday, it was an 8 to 6 Prowlers win. Uh, and I do have to say, their um, commentator was um, so guaranteed, gar- basically guaranteeing this win when they won up right before we. It was like, what, six to four or something yeah, like that? Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll get to that. Okay, so three stars in the game. Dalton J. Dalton J. Three goals, two assists, yeah. five points. Stephen Fowler, two goals and assists. And once again, Ryan Marker with two goals and assists. So, scoring started at the 654 mark of the first period is uh, Dalton J from Brandon Gatrano and Samuel May. Yeah. And Shinny? Is that how you say it? Sammy? Yeah. yeah. I don't know Sam. if that's how you yeah, say yeah. it, but yeah, Sam. <laughs> uh, then at the 1434 mark, it was once again Dalton J from Bar- Brand Contrato. And second assist this time went to Stephen Fowler. <laughs> then at the 115 mark of the second period, it was uh, once again Dalton J. And this time the primary assist went to Joe Pace Jr. 
or Barry Cachado got the secondary assist. So the natural hat trick for Dalton J. Then at the 7-13 mark of the second period, it was some guy named Colton Maynard <laughs> <laughs> from Justin Portillo and Sam. Lord, shout out, Ports. Um, let's shout pause out, here. Um, leading up to this goal, what was like? What was going through your mind? Um, <laughs> yeah. A lot. Um, well, we, so I'm pretty sure Sammy chipped it in, and Portis got down the wing harder. Or we did a started a cycle, and we went to Portis down low in the corner, and I was coming high from the cycle down straight in the middle, <laughs> all around me, so I was just screaming my head off. Portis saw me and dished it right to me. It could have been any easier for me. All I had to do was tap. I didn't even have to move my stick really or shoot. <laughs> so, luckily, you had Portillo on your team then. That's yeah, of course, he, he grinded in the corner, and that's what happens. I mean, it's all the dirty work, get it down low, it's where we need it, it's where we advance, it's our line anyways, get it to the front of the net, and go to town. And that's what you love about Portillo, is that he'll make everything a lot easier for you guys, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God, much easier. He's always grinding, it's nice. He never stops. <laughs> <laughs> um, take your comments now um, about this image right here. Hey, uh, Steve us on. <laughs> Steve. Um, all right, let's let's continue with the um, scoring on this one. <laughs> you know what? I got you back. Just remember, I don't know where you sit. <laughs> True. <laughs> But at least when I'm sitting there, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> okay. And then, then at the uh, 7 731 mark of the second period, it was Jaime Lucas from Vladimir Port and Ryan Marker. At the uh, 937 mark, it was Dominic Bogzio from Cal Powell and Corey Sherman. At the 1237 mark, Shorthanded, it was Mike Moroso from Dalton J and Joe Pace Jr. At, at the 13.35 mark on the power play, it was Ryan Marker from Cal Powell and Derek Goudreau. Yeah. Then at the 14.02 mark of the second period, is uh, Billy McGill sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Dennis Zaychuk from uh, Joseph Denvey and... Dominic Bot Bogzio. <laughs> Seventeen fifty six mark of the second period. It was <laughs> Ryan Marker from Derek Boudreau and Cole uh Sinstivo. At the uh nineteen thirteen mark of the second period, Bob Cole scored in the second period. Short handed, it was Jaime Lucas from Joseph Denby. And in a shocker, Detroit's losing. Yeah. And Chris, you said at this time the Watertown announcer was like guaranteeing the win. Yeah, because they said that there was no way that Fort Hare could come back with how Watertown was winning. And shots um, was the yes word. Yeah, every time that he would say shot, he would um say shh. Well, Shit. Real word. just say the word. Shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, just like a Craig said, he would say shit. So, so then at the uh, four thirty mark of the third period, it was Austin Fairley from Matt Graham and Bobby Spoil. Spoil. Then at the thirteen eleven mark, it was Stephen Fowler from Dom J. Mark Moroso. Then at the eighteen thirty eight mark, uh, it was. Stephen Fowler to an empty net from Joe Case Jr. Penalties in this game were considerably less than the last game. It was uh, Mike Moroso at the 336 mark of the first period, two for holding. Tyson Bruce at the 1545 mark, two for interference. Joe Case Jr., 209 mark of the second period, two minutes for being Joe Case Jr. And, I mean, he well, they called it holding, but. We all know the reason he got that penalty. <laughs> <laughs> At the 11.50 mark of the second period, Matt grabbed two for tripping. 
Then at the 17.03 mark of the second period, it was Tristan McKay, five minute major for all boy, five minutes for getting beaten up, and Matt Graham, five minutes for beating Tristan up. We got that video too. Yes, we do. Let's get that right up right here. And we have Billy McGill still sleeping. <laughs> Even the following uh, Billy definitely does not want that date. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a good thing, though, that Graham stuck up for school on that one. Yeah. You yeah. have to. It was a dirty play. I mean. Yeah. And we're glad to see that Skull was able to come back out on the ice after that in the third period, though. So. And, um... <laughs> and then the last penalty of the game was at the 13.48 mark of the third period. It was Liam Little, two for home. And attendance for that game was 919 people who watched their team lose. And it's, um, I think it's funny, though, because some of the people in that comment, and on the comments on the YouTube, are like, oh, it's, it's going to be over 1,100 tomorrow for the attendance, from Friday's game, I should say. At some, they were guaranteeing it was going to be over 1,100 people in the stands for that game on Saturday. But it's like... Okay. So then Sunday, after traveling all night, oh, that's... there was the Prowlers. 6-4 win over Battle Creek. Amazing that we didn't lose to Battle Creek even after being super tired. How was that bus trip? Long. Uh, terrible. There was not much sleep for me. And some. Um, I mean, it happens though. You kind of get used to sleeping on buses, but you don't get like a proper sleep. But we got food before, and we got there earlier than planned, so we got our legs moving in a good stretch. And you, you still don't expect to play that that early. Uh, it didn't really make sense. We, uh, we were supposed to make it right on time, like right at puck drop. So we, if initially if that would have happened, we wouldn't have had warm-ups or anything. Right. We got dressed on the bus, which Joe was talking about, <laughs> which would have been pretty funny. Yeah. We all got dressed in the bus and then we put our skates on when we got there. I mean, that's any way that you can like speed the process up, right? <laughs> yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do in those cases. Yeah. Well, you wanna, you wanna do the recap of this game so you don't fall asleep anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, uh, give him about 30 seconds, then we'll have a commercial break, then he can sleep a little bit more. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, so, this game, Battle Creek, it was a 6-4 win. Corian had 96 shots on goal. We had more than that. <laughs> they had more than 96 shots, they just stopped counting them. Yeah. They did. Our line had, uh, Petrano got three, three back-to-back shots, and they stayed at 91. <laughs> they, we were all getting excited because we were trying to hit 100 and we were cheering and yelling shots and I don't think they stopped putting up some of the shots. That's, they had to at that point. Though. It's, it, it, it helps their goalie. I mean, it, their goalie got the first start of the game. Yeah, nine save percentage, nine yeah, two or something. The, the, so. the reason I mentioned the shots is because first start of the game after giving up six goals was Joel Eisenhower. Yeah. He had a 938 save percentage. <laughs> Uh, second star was Mike Moroso with two goals and an assist. Third star was Dalton Jay with three assists. Which what is a, good. What a and then, <laughs> When I saw Bob. it, it was the other way around. Mike Moroso was number one in the uh, Yeah. was second, and they switched it. Yeah, that's about good. Um, more on this game right after the commercial break, though. More Hey guys, it's Crystal from the Port Heron Prowlers. Back to you from behind the scenes. I'm with Mitz today, and Mitz and I are here to give you guys some um, examples of things the guys would like on the bus trip. Mitz, do you think the guys would like granola bars? What about fruit and vegetables? Okay, not vegetables, but how about fruit? Um, cases of water? What about some Powerade and Gatorade? Well, there you have it. Some true facts of what Mitz thinks our boys should have on the road trips. Thanks for watching and enjoy the show.
At Big Boy, we've got lots of omelets all day, every day. Like the meaty meat lovers, savory southern, or hearty Denver. It's your Big Boy. Border City Paranormal is a professional paranormal team located in the Blue Water area. If you have any uneasy feelings, hear bumps in the night that cannot be explained, or hear rumors about your home or business, please give us a call. Hi, and welcome back. Let's get back to that uh, Battle Creek game right there. Okay. Right. Where, again, we had 96 shots. So, uh, first two goals of the game were scored by Battle Creek. It was at the 741 mark. It was uh, Sage Setron as Tyler Bertuzzi as tied up for the Red Wings. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that was assist by Ryan Alves. Then it was uh, Jake Mortley. From Ryan Alves and Michael Thomas. I thought he was a wide receiver down in New Orleans. Michael Thomas. I didn't know he played hockey in his off season. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. <laughs> then, at the 1832 mark, for your hero is Michael Russell from Dalton Jane, Stephen Fowler. Billy needs to take a nap before coming on next week. <laughs> Katie Nicholson. Well, you know, Katie, it's been a rough week, but I know. <laughs> it's all, it's all those play practices he's been having. And <laughs> At the 633 mark of the second period, it was Jess Patel from Colt Maynard and Sam Mancini. <laughs> and, Colt, and Colton's looking at the menu for yeah, uh, the rest of the which is the one <laughs> where you can come and... Uh, Get a good hearty meal. Uh, mm -hmm. Kids eat free today, and from now until probably Sunday, you can get a dollar off for the Port Huron RV and Camper Show that's being held this weekend at the Blue Water Convention Center at, near uh, the Hilton Double Tree 
which uh, used to be the Thomas Edison Inn. Oh, that's how they Double <laughs> Yeah. It changed out like a couple of years ago. It's been oh, yeah. open that's for true. a while. Yeah. Okay, back to the scoring. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the 1344 mark of the second period is Matt Graham from Jonathan Giuliano and Graham Gatrano. At the 1451 mark, it was Stephen Fowler from Donald J. Mark Moroso. And at the 421 mark of the third period, is Mark Moroso from Donald J. and Stephen Fowler. At the 504 mark, it was another first goal from, and this one was from Sam Mancini, from, uh, assisted by uh, Jessica Patel and Dalton Young. Then at the 1244 mark, it was former Prowler Jared Pfeiffer from former Prowler Alex Gregorich, who was watching earlier. I don't know if he's still watching. And uh, Stavros Stolius. Then at the 1905 mark, it was Ryan Alves from David Nicoletti and Charles DeBow the Fourth. Oh. And. Jeez, the penalties in this game. That's so long. This, this was going to take forever. <laughs> At the 1449 mark of the first period is Jake Mortley, and he got a two minute minor for high sticking. And that was it. Um, why did you take so long on that, dude? <laughs> 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 I'm out of breath after that one. <laughs> and attendance for that game was 386. It's their last home game, and the guy with the tin advisor, please take it off. <laughs> so the, the fans of Bell Creek no longer have to suffer watching that team. <laughs> right. Standings. How about those standings? In the Eastern Division, Danbury still leads at 29-12, 2-3 through 46 games. Elmira is second at 28-13, 3-3 through 47 games. Watertown's third at 22-23-2 through 47 games. Mentor... It's 15, 30, 0, and 3 through 48 games. And Delaware is 12, 31, 1, and 1 through 45 games. And those two, Mentor and Delaware, are still battling for the last playoff spot now. And um, with the De- Danbury and uh, Elmira, they're still fighting for first place. It's not like our yeah, division. Yeah, but they're in the playoffs, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But it's true. Well, both, both are bum teams anyway. Yeah, but they're both, they're just trying to, trying to find out if they're going to play the first, the, first play, the last place team in the league or, or what. Yeah. They're no, they're both work. playing at home to start the series, so it doesn't but matter. Uh, who's going to play Watertown and who's going to play uh, uh, Mentor or Delaware? Who cares? It wouldn't matter until he gets to, down to the last two teams to me. Because yeah. they're on the other side of the bracket. True. So, Either way, I in think the I'm Western good. Division, it's uh, the now half-suspended Carolina Thunderbirds, uh, who are 33-6, 2-5 through 46 games, followed by the Prowlers, who are 28-14, 4-0 through 46 games, followed by Danville, who's 24-18, 2-3 through 47 games. Followed by Columbus, who's 18, 21, 6 and 1 through 46 games. And bringing up the rear is Battle Creek, who are 1, 45, 0, oh, and 2. Because they, they, they got another point. They got lost point in overtime. Yeah. And they, they put up a real fight when they actually did play Delaware. This They're season. not a bad team. Points right. percentage. And it's that's a Delaware has been making a huge that's push. Points percentage. So, that's um, for Battle Creek to put up a fight against a team that's making a huge push for their playoff lives right now is actually amazing for them. So. Yeah. And the dumb thing is this league goes by win percentage, but it's really points percentage. Right. I don't know why they keep calling it win percentage. Some teams play more than others. So. Which, that actually needs to be figured out right there. Yeah. you got ten teams. Make them each play 50 games. There you go. There you go. Figure it out. Don't care. Figure it out. Do better. Right. Um, so, this weekend's uh, games are Friday the 13th, Saturday the 14th. Friday, Friday, Friday the 13th. 
Right. And Sunday the 15th, the Fri Friday games at 7.30 start. Saturday is 6 p.m. Sunday is a 3 p.m. start, and all three yep. games are against the Carolina Thunderbirds. So, predictions, starting with our off-camera associate, Mike Grummet. This Friday is going to do all three. All three in a row. All right. Um, Friday's game, Carolina Thunderbirds will win 4 3 Proverbs. Sunday's game, however, is Carolina 3 6. You know, T. Okay. Justin, all three games. <laughs> Where can I order? <laughs> oh, she'll say something. Oh, really? We always get your point here on It's okay. I got you. <laughs> Justin doesn't want to do it. Danon. Okay. All three games. Because I, I want to get this over with right now. 5 4, Friday for Crawlers. Um, empty net. Okay. Saturday, 4 3 us. Empty net? No. <laughs> Sunday. Four two empty net. Okay. Us. Chris. Um, I'm gonna say five two for the first game. Um, just because they'll be getting their legs back. <laughs> um, I can see Saturday being a four three win for the Prowlers, and Sunday will be um a three to one win with Casey getting the game winner. Colton? Dubs. All three wins. <laughs> Do I have to put oh, scores? <laughs> no. Billy? Uh, Score don't matter. Friday's game. 5-2 Prowlers. Saturday's game. 8-3 on Saturday. And then Sunday's game. Casey's getting a hat trick on Sunday's game. <laughs> right. That's my yeah. score for Sunday's right. game. So four, Wait, did two coat? prowlers. No, no, that's mine. That's no, that's mine. Okay. Four, three prowlers, and Mr. Casey will probably get a hat trick or something. Bobby, Man's I won't legend. be there for Friday, but it'll be uh, four, two, us Friday. Saturday will be a three, two, us, and Sunday will be a two, one, us, and Casey. Uh, overtime hat. Uh, <laughs> Dueling with an overtime hat trick. I like those odds. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> overtime shootout with Casey's game winning goal. Shootout with Casey's game winning goal. Okay. So oh. Friday. I wasn't supposed to do that. It will be 3-1 uh, Prowlers. Saturday. 4-1 Prowlers. Sunday. 2-1 Prowlers in case Harris gets into a fight and then doesn't play the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> right off face-off? Uh, who knows? <laughs> I mean, it's always possible, right? Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta get the crowd to riled up, right? Uh, so. Um, well, I, I want to make another estimation. On Saturday, how many drunken fans in the stands? Enough. <laughs> what, Saturday? 2,000 people. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be... If we get 2,000 people, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah. We're over a hundred thousand, you know, a hundred thousand. The, the, the one thing we need, still need, is our uh, checks. What checks? Care bills. <laughs> Shh. Yeah, Billy. Yeah, yeah. Just kidding, Jason. I, 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 remember, I remember Rob said he getting me my yep. size. This shit. Didn't he say that? Yeah, he did. He did. Rob's paying for he everyone. He did. He said he was paying for my fries. Did he say he was paying for my fries this time? Yeah. I remember that. If you don't have the money, Billy, and Rob, Rob uh, back so, don't worry. Everybody come on down to Big Boy right now. Rob's paying for you guys, so. <laughs> the auction is still up until this weekend. We really want that day. <laughs> He's got to get some excitement. He's, 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 he's probably going to sleep on camera. So. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a great weekend this, uh, of games this weekend. Hey, so. I, wonder, I wonder if our uh, Carolina fan friends are going to show up to the game. Oh, there will be some there. No, no, we're talking about the ones that used to come now that are from the River Dragons family now. Oh, no. no. Yeah. I, I, I hope they show up so Grandma can sit with them again. <laughs> <laughs> Start tomatoes at them. 
Sorry. You said throw tomato. Um, thank you, um, guys. That's <laughs> thank, for tuning in this week. In this week. Yeah. Hopefully next week we have David Nippert before he skips out on us back yes. to the SPA job. <laughs> the earliest you can go is next Wednesday, David. So. <laughs> no, you can go next Thursday. See you guys next week, guys. Happy St. Patty's Day. Yeah, we can do that next week because St. Patty's Day. Hey guys, it's Crystal from the Port Huron Prowlers. Back to you from behind the scenes. I'm with Mitz today, and Mitz and I are here to give you guys some um, examples of things the guys would like on the bus trip. Mitz, do you think the guys would like granola bars? What about fruit and vegetables? Okay, not vegetables, but how about fruit? Um, cases of water? What about some Powerade and Gatorade? Well, there you have it. Some true facts of what Mitz thinks our boys should have on the road trips. Thanks for watching and enjoy the show. At Big Boy, we've got lots of omelets all day, every day. Like the meaty meat lovers, savory southern, or hearty Denver. It's your Big Boy. Border City Paranormal is a professional paranormal team located in the Blue Water area. If you have any uneasy feelings, hear bumps in the night that cannot be explained, or hear rumors about your home or business, please give us a call.